After loading and opening the FitTrack software, connect the QuantiFit to your computer through a USB port with the provided USB cable. When you first open FitTrack Gold, you'll see the home screen or the dashboard. The dashboard contains useful information that may be helpful for your fit testing program. Up at the top, you'll see a drop-down list where you may select the company you wish to work with. By default, it will always be open to the previous company that was used for testing. You may also choose the operator from that drop-down list as well. This information is also available in the left sidebar as you'll see down at the bottom. This option is available no matter where you are in the program. On the dashboard, you'll see various panels that may be collapsed if you don't want to show these panels. Under the Do for Test panel, this will show a list of your personnel who has not been tested in the last 48 weeks. So at a glance, you can see those people who are due for a test. Under Test Statistics, this will show you the tests that were performed today, for the current week, current month, or current year. Under Links, these are helpful links that you may find useful to get to the OHD website, our service return form, or the OSHA Appendix A that outlines fit testing rules. We've also left a blank so that you can add your own link to this panel. Under Mask Inventory, this will show a list of all the masks that have been tested in the current year, so that at a glance you may see how many masks are being used in each brand and each size. For calibration due dates, this will list any quantifit that's been connected to this database so that you may track when they're due for their annual calibration. And finally, for the quantifit detail, this shows you which quantifit you're currently using, and if you connected a quantifit after you've started the software, you can connect it by pinging with this connect button. Next, we'll go to the personnel module. On this screen, you'll see a list of all the people who are listed in this particular company. You may also change the company on this screen as we did on the dashboard. Up top, you'll see buttons that allow you to do separate functions for this screen. We have the Add button if you'd like to add a person, Edit if you'd like to edit their information, Delete to remove a person from the list, History to look at that person's history of testing, Move if you want to move this person to a different company, and finally Test if you want to perform a test on this person. You can also get to each of these options by right-clicking on any individual allows you to add, edit, delete, look at the history, move, or test. Also on the personnel screen, you'll find the collapsible search bar. When you have a lengthy personnel list, this allows you to search for people using the search criteria. To clear the search, just click the reset button. Also handy is the ability to sort on the column headers. By clicking on the column headers, you'll see how you're changing the sort order. To clear the default by last name, click on this Sort button. When adding a person into the database, enter as little or as much information as is needed. It's best to decide which information is needed and then be consistent with all personnel. If there is a possibility of ever needing to synchronize the database, a personnel ID must be used. The custom labels on custom field 1, 2, and 3 may be changed in the Company Edit field on the Company screen. After you're done entering personnel information, you can click on the Save to save that, Save and Test if you'd like to go ahead into the test. Another way to get into the test is simply to double click on the person and choose Save and Test. This brings up the test screen. All information necessary to be recorded for a test is on this test screen. Information will be displayed for the person who was selected to test. A different person may be selected from the drop-down menu. 
If the personnel screen had been filtered by last name, department, or any other information, only that list would show up in this drop-down list. Select the test protocol, which will always default to the last protocol that was used for testing. Use Redon for air purifying respirators, SCBA for supplied breathing apparatus. The software includes a variation on the SCBA protocol to meet the Canadian standards, and there is a CVRN protocol for Homeland Security and first responders. The other field may be used to specify information that will be recorded with this particular test. If an operator was selected on any of the main screens, that operator will be in place on the test screen. But even that can be changed if another operator is to be used for this particular test. The test date and the test time is taken from the computer's internal clock. Select the mask from the drop-down list these are masks that the user has entered into the software program. You'll also want to be sure to select the correct size that will be used for this test. When all the information has been selected, simply click on the test button to begin the test. The Quantifit will perform a series of beeps and then the software will be ready for testing. In the left screen, you'll see the protocol instructions for each step of the test. And at the bottom, you'll see a graph that shows the progress of the test. Instruct the test subject to take and hold a comfortable breath, and then press and hold the trigger button for the eight seconds of the test. If the test is successful, the software will move on to the next step of testing. If the test step did not pass, there will be an opportunity to save the test step or to retry the test step. After all five steps have been completed, you'll see the results of the test. In this case, we passed. You can click on Save, Save and Print, or you can print the test directly to PDF. In this case, we're going to click on Save and Print. We have one last chance to change the mask size if that had changed during testing or the type of mask being used. You may also enter any test notes specific to this particular test. Here are the test results. In the custom fields of the software, you'll see where you can add company information in the upper left, as well as the company logo in the upper right. Consult the manual for further instructions. The company screen is much like the personnel screen with a list of companies that you've created. The options are Add, Edit, and Delete a Company, which are also available through the right click. If we want to add a company, the only information really required is the company name. The other fields are for your record keeping. Down at the bottom, the custom label is for the tags that appear when you're adding a person to this particular company. If you click the checkbox for personnel ID, this would force them to put a personnel ID as it would make it a required field. This is critical if you ever plan to synchronize your databases. You can also make a company inactive this would remove the company from your lists in your printing, but it would not delete the company permanently. The Reports screen allows for the printing of various reports. You can print reports from various screens within the application, but the Reports screen gives you a central location if you want to print reports in batch. You can select the report from the drop-down menu. In this case, I'm going to select the useful report called the Fit Test Log. When I select Fit Test Log, I get this screen to select the columns that I wish to appear in this report, as it will allow me to customize the columns that I wish to use. Down at the bottom, it tells me the remaining characters if I want to add or delete columns 
it'll show me how many characters left on the width of the page. I'll finally click Submit, which will bring up all the data. I have my option where I can click on the headers to change how the information is sorted. And over here I have Clear Sort on these buttons. I can print directly to PDF. I can export the file to an Excel spreadsheet. Or I can click Print, which will first print to screen. You can see on this test the information including the statistics, number of tests, number passed, number failed, and number canceled, and then the list of each person and their test results. This will be a quick overview of the tools and admin screen. For more information on each detail, consult the Help tab or the Owner's Manual. In the Backup and Restore section, there are options for synchronizing databases, for backing up your database, for restoring a backed up database, information on annual calibration requirements, and then information on contacting OHD. In the Import-Export section, you can import personnel data from an Excel spreadsheet. You can import data directly from a QuantiFit, from a memory stick of data that's from a QuantiFit. You can import data from another FitTrack Gold database. And then to export from a FitTrack Gold database, export here, and then import from another computer. On the Advanced Options under the Tools tab, You'll find calibration, which allows you to retrieve calibration data, which is done when the software is opened. But if you need to import it again, you can do it here. You can edit protocol information or add a new protocol. You can edit respirators or add new respirators to your database. Or if you come up with a different mask size, you can add different sizes to your database as well. When going to the admin section, the first thing that you'll see is the security settings. By default, all of these are turned off. By turning on security, a password is required to get into the administrator module. And with security turned on, the administrator can define which functions can be performed by a general operator versus the administrator. When the login is turned on, a login name and password would be necessary for each person to log into the software. Under the role-based menu settings, you'll see the grid that allows you to change each function of the software to be done by both the administrator and operator or just the administrator. Under Startup Options, you can choose for the home page to show up each time you launch FitTrack Gold, or you can choose Personnel Page with Last Company Opened so that it will bypass the home screen and open directly into a company. Under the Home Screen Settings, you can choose the time period for which Due for Test shows up, default to 48 weeks. Under Mask Inventory and Test Statistics, you can default to do that for the open company or for all companies. But this also can be changed on the home screen as well. Under Link Details, here's where you can change the links to your preferences and you can add a fourth link. Under Date Format, this allows you to select the date format that you'd prefer. By default, it does select the Windows choice. Under Database Backup, when you close the software, it will ask you to back up the database. Right now, it's set for a reminder of every 15 days, it's going to ask you or remind you to back up the database. You can change how often it's going to remind you to back up the database. And then you can also choose the path where you want the database to be backed up. Under the Auto Save Fit Factor, these are fit factors that are selected to automatically save each test step if they meet this minimum fit factor. It's recommended that you leave these as the default, as that's the way the software is programmed to function. Report filter settings gives options for setting the search criteria used on each screen or for each report. 
Report Format Settings allows for custom text at the top of each report, as well as choosing for a company logo. User Management is the place to add users as operators or as administrators by filling out the names, passwords, and other information about each user. At the bottom, you'll see the roles that you can select, either operator or admin. Under Update Firmware, this is where you would update the firmware on your QuantaFit. If you're notified, follow this wizard to help you update your firmware. In this lesson, we've only scratched the surface on the powers of FitTrack Gold. It's a very useful and functional software that should assist you for years to come with your fit testing program. We thank you for choosing OHD and the QuantaFit with controlled negative pressure technology. You have now completed basic instruction for using the QuantaFit. This video is intended to be used as an overview and not as comprehensive training. Always refer to your owner's manual for a more detailed instruction. We are excited to have you as a part of our QuantaFit family of users. The speed and accuracy of this technology sets it far and above all other methods of fit testing. By following the simple instructions presented in this video, we are confident that you will be greatly pleased with the fit test results using your OHD QuantaFit. If you have more questions, visit our website at www.ohdusa.com. You may also contact OHD customer support toll free at 888-464-3872.